Incendiary arrows have proven especially effective in sieges of cities or fortresses. So today we're used to the idea of death and destruction coming from the skies. Uh, bombs and missiles raining terror on cities of cities in flames. But cities in flames, uh, it, it, that, that's as old as when men fought with the bow and arrow, because they used incendiary arrows. Blacksmith Jens Christiansen works on the essential part of the weapon, the iron head. In order for a flaming arrow to remain lit when shot in the air, the head has to be carefully forged. Jens is forming a small basket, or cage, out of the four iron branches meant to hold flammable material. So this is the arrow that I made with Jens. So it's got the sulfur at its core, around that is the dead wood, and then on the outside is the toe dipped in tar. So we've got the tar going, the pitch is going on the outside. Let's see how it will perform. Hopefully that's getting hot enough to get the dead wood lit inside. house with its straw roof will be destroyed within two minutes of Mike's shot. An elaborate arrowhead and a sticky incendiary mix, a millennia-old technique deployed in countless conflicts.